Hi there, my name is Amy Redding. I'm the district coordinator for gifted and talented students. As the new school year begins, I know many of you are going to have some interaction with those students. And so I wanted to give some common characteristics and traits that gifted students all pretty much share. Oh, as we enter my classroom, you can see some gifted students now. Oftentimes, gifted students are quiet, focused, and dedicated to their schoolwork. Mrs. Redding, I finished your worksheet. Wonderful! Did you finish the back page too? Yes, and actually, I finished the whole workbook. Uh, but it's only been 15 minutes since you began. I know, it was really easy. What should I do now? Well, that was supposed to last you all year long, so, um, you'll have to give me a minute to figure something out. Oh yes, the overachiever genius type. How about this student? Have you ever recognized this one? And I learned that there are 4,567 types of noodles, and some of them you can put sauce on, and some of them you can stuff them. And then one time my mom went to Italy, and she took a cooking class there, and they taught her all about how to make noodles. And then she came and taught me, and you had to roll it out really, really thin, but not too thin, and you can't touch it too much because then it gets too hard, and then you can't use the noodles. Have you ever been held hostage by the student who knows a lot of information about some random thing? They can quote volumes and volumes of information about that one topic, but it just breaks your heart to have to move on to the rest of the class because they have such zeal for that topic. What about this next student? Have you ever encountered him? Okay, class. So, after watching that video, what were your thoughts? Anyone? This is so boring. Why do we have to do this anyway? I don't know. I thought you'd like learning about the space shuttle. I already know about the space shuttle. I built a model of it. And plus, I can't hear anything anyways because she's being so loud. Why don't you make her sit down? I understand. Your concern, believe me, I'd make her sit down if I knew how. Do you recognize that bored student who will do nothing in class? Or what about that hyperactive student who refuses to sit down? What about this next student? Do you recognize this one? Wait, should I have been taking notes? I, I mean, I did write down everything that you said to me, but uh, I, I can't even read my handwriting. I mean, I'm going to have to rewrite this, maybe in color-coded systems with color-coordinating folders. Uh, but did you tell us when the test was? D did you tell us? Are you familiar with the student who is wound up so tight? They are perfectionist to a dangerous extreme. To them, an A- is akin to flunking. Gifted students could be the class clown or the one always in trouble. They could barely be able to add or struggle in reading. They could be a virtuoso in the violin, but unable to open a juice box. That's the thing about gifted students. They are all over the map. But the one thing that gifted students really do need is an opportunity to learn in the way that fits them best. If you want to learn more about gifted education, what our gifted students are doing in this classroom, any kind of advice or advocacy opportunities, and a lot more, like our new Facebook page at Sepulpa School's Gifted and Talented program. You can also contact me at any time for any advice, questions, or ideas.